Next I'm going to show you how to make the clock's comb, otherwise known as celiosa. So it's this lovely little flower here. Quite unusual, but I think it does look like it belongs under the sea, so that's why I'm showing you how to make it for this particular cake. Really easy to do. We've got some flour and modelling paste by McRenshaw's here, and I've already put a little bit of Trex in, just to get it nice and soft, nice and pliable. So if it's sticking to your hands, use a little bit of Trex. So once it gets to that state, roll into a ball and then into a sort of triangle shape, like so. Now you don't have to put this on a wire, but I find it easier when it's to handle it. So I've got quite a strong wire here. This is a 20 gauge wire. And I'm going to bend, I've already cut it, and I'm going to bend a nice big hook in the end of that wire. Then we're going to push it into the bottom of the triangle and then we'll start working with it. Now we want quite a flat top. So can you see, it's, at the moment this is more like modelling rather than creating flowers. Now what I'm doing is thinning out the one edge and I'm just using my fingers for this, like so. You can see it's already starting to take shape. Now what we want to do is create this beautiful wavy effect. So we need to get a rolling pin and then I'm going to actually roll to make it go frilly. So we're, push we're pushing this tip of the rolling pin. You could use a cocktail stick if you wish. And we're going all the way along, along to the other side until we've gone all the way across that top section. And then what we can do is start bending it in a little bit. This is where it gets its um, nickname from, coxcomb, because it looks like the coxcomb on the top of their head. So once we've done that, now that's getting a bit chunky, so I'm just going to remove some of this paste. We don't need all of that. As you're working, you'll find that you'll start to bring it down a little bit. There we are. So now to get the lovely textured effect, really easy, but a little bit bizarre. We're going to be using these lovely fine scissors. So just turn that around the right way. Now we're actually going to start attacking the paste by snipping, snipping very quickly, as you can see. I'll do it in slow motion for you. Tiny little snips all over and quite random. Try not to be regimented with this. And the idea is that you're actually just texturing the surface. So we do it all over. You can see how textured it's going. So keep going until you're happy that there's no sm smooth bits on there. There we are. I'm quite happy with that. I think that's looking good. So there's your coxcomb. And now we're ready to colour.